Hi. And, and welcome, welcome to specifically the void. void. A podcast. Wow, it's been a long time since I've seen you. It's been a week in layman's time. Yeah. But like less than 24 hours in cool people time. And, and in us time, like two minutes. <laughs> Derek, what you got there? Hot dog. Oh, remember when you were a vegetarian? Slash no. being vegan? Like, My mother is home, which means I should probably change rooms. Ready? Look, guys, I'm going to do a magic trick. Well, I, well, I will appear in a different room. Look, I've no. landed. Oh, my God. So, Derek, let's so, waste no time into getting the first game. It's Florida or Fiction 2. Oh, my gosh. Everyone wow. loved it from last week, probably. <laughs> and so, here we go. If you, I've been training, just so you know. Yeah? I've been speaking with the leading experts in Florida or Fiction. <laughs> <laughs> I've been speaking to J.K. Rowling and also Marco Rubio. Yo, <laughs> we should do another game where it's... Uh, J.K. Rowling or Marco Rubio? <laughs> J.K. Rowling or Fiction, where we have to guess if this uh, posthumous change to a Harry Potter character is real or not. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, I'm ready. So Anyone if you in? don't remember Florida or Fiction... Listen to last week's episode, because I hate re-explaining games. So, Derek, the first one... <laughs> I I do have hyperlinks and news, and like news affiliates. So you'll be able to answer my questions this time? Yes. Okay. Or I might be compulsively lying to throw you off. Hey, I knew someone who did that. He told me recently that his girlfriend is pregnant and that he got his real estate license. Oh, I know exactly who you're talking <laughs> to. It's my favorite band, the Jim Morrisons. <laughs> that seems somewhat of an appropriate way to describe this man. Okay, Derek Harnish, Florida of Fiction. Florida man gets 30... Uh, I can't even say that number. Uh, 30... $7,500 after Officer thought Donut Glaze was meth. Thought Donut Glaze was meth. Yes. This is from uh, Fox Denver 31, Colorado's own news. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So this is an article about Florida man. Yeah, but it's like a trending thing. But you know from, how like... Okay. So... Florida man. See, it's uncommon for Florida man to not have meth on him. But he thought. But for it to be officer thought else. donut glaze was meth. So here's the thing. Mm -hmm. If cops, this is sorry, police officers. <laughs> if cops are stupid in most of the country, imagine how stupid they are in Florida. <laughs> So I'm going to say that this is Florida. This happened in Florida. That's a, a nice number. Yeah, but I couldn't even say it. Yeah, which makes me believe more that it's Florida and that you're just reading off of an article on, what was it, Fox 31 Denver? Sure. Derek Harnish, this did happen in Florida. It yeah. happened in 2015. But the article is from October 15th, 2017. So it's Florida? Yeah. Hey, right. want to know? Florida Are or fiction? Florida man given key to city after saying, saving mayor from wild coyote. For, oh, come on. <laughs> this is WTXL ABC 27 Tallahassee. Tallahassee. So this one's coming straight from the mouth of the gator. Uh... <laughs> Or straight from the mouth of a coyote. Key to the city. 
after Mayer was attacked by He Coyote. saved him. He saved him. And he saved him. Mm-hmm. But this doesn't necessarily mean the mayor of Tallahassee. No. No. It doesn't even mean the city of Tallahassee. Are there cities beyond, like... Florida, yes. cities in Florida? Yeah. Like, are there cities that aren't, like, Tallahassee, Miami, Tampa... Yes. Orlando? Yes. Okay. Oh, this is tempting. I think... I think I'm going to say this is fiction, because I don't know how much about coyotes I've heard in Florida. <laughs> wow, two for two. This is fiction. I did make <laughs> this up this morning. Florida I told you, I've been training with the best. I climbed the Florida or fiction stairs, and there was an entire crowd behind me cheering. All right, this next article is from WESHNBC2 Orlando. Multiple residents arrested what? after underground cage fighting ring found. Okay, so, one, this is the plot of a very famous book and movie. <laughs> Two. Yeah, but... Multiple... Multiple residents. Multiple residents. Multiple residents. Three, Orlando. <laughs> yeah. So, can I ask you one question about the art of, about the cage fighting? Sure. Now I know. Is this in Disney? N no. No, it is not in Disney. You hesitated, but like didn't look at a screen. <laughs> I mean, I have my phone, like, literally right here. Uh, what's on your phone screen? Uh, the Florida Fiction. <laughs> oh, this one's tough. See, I want to say fiction because it's the plot of a really famous movie. But also, it's Florida. <laughs> so anything could happen. Anything is possible. You know what? I think people who live in Florida aren't maybe aren't as happy with other people who live in Florida. So I'm going to say this is Florida. There, Carnish, I didn't even realize that this was the plot to Fight Club when I wrote it this morning. <laughs> when you wrote it this morning? I thought I was thinking cage fighting like MMA. I was not thinking like <laughs> like a Fight Club. All so right. this was fiction. Yeah. Derek Carnish, this next one. Florida or fiction? Florida man angry over straw attacks McDonald's cashier. She fights back. Oh, not even going to deliberate this. This is Florida. Yes. Not <laughs> <laughs> it's not an article. It's a video, too. Oh, man. I would have thought about it more, but as soon as you said she fights back, yeah. I, I was like, like, oh, that's classic. <laughs> All right, Florida or fiction? Man carries alligator into beer store in Florida. She just carries it. Uh, yeah, this is from. So they get arrested for it. Um. Uh, doesn't say so. So I'm gonna say this is fiction because of what I said last episode, which is uh. The reason Florida Man is such a hilarious concept is because Florida has to legally report every time someone gets arrested. Uh huh. So you get the strange ass articles. So I'm going to say this is fiction because it was not specified that he was arrested. So, Derek, this is true. And at the bottom of the article, it does say it was unclear whether the man's stunt violated any laws. <laughs> God damn it. It also says, the man then chases customers around the store with the alligator. Okay, that, he's definitely breaking the law. <laughs> Stratton says he has no memory of the incident, as he had been drinking heavily that night. He says really? he does not know where he got the alligator. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Is that the of hangover? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Florida or fiction? Florida couple arrested after stealing baby stroller that had twins inside. 
stealing baby stroller with twins. Yeah, inside. This is well, from WECPLP CBS 18 Panama City. Panama City. All right. So here's the thing. Mm-hmm. One baby. Yeah. Could get you a good amount of money for meth. Uh huh. <laughs> but twins. <laughs> two babies. That's a, that's that's meth for the rest of your life. Yeah. You're you're set on meth. That's double meth. That's double math. But the last couple have been Florida, <laughs> if I'm right. What? The last couple have been Florida, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, well, the I last wouldn't one was think Florida. by that, because I ha- maybe I not necessarily have it 50-50. Interesting. I'm going to say this is Florida, because, again, that's a lot of money for meth. And I could, that's the only motive I can see for stealing a stroller in Florida. <laughs> Damn, Derek, I made it up this morning. I am. <laughs> Florida or fiction? Oh, this one's amazing. Florida woman sentenced to probation after pulling live alligator from her pants during traffic stop. This is from AOL.com. Oh, come on. <laughs> So not only are you making me decide whether or not this is a real story from Florida, you're also making me guess whether or not AOL.com is still a thing. Ooh. So I want to say at least AOL.com is still a thing because MySpace is still a thing. And like, come on. Oh, is that I, a call? Yeah. Why is that a call, Micah? Because it's my birthday. Oh my god. Can you believe this asshole being born? Yeah. So, so fact or fiction, fact Derek? Fiction. No, it's Florida or fiction, actually. Florida or fiction. <laughs> um, I'm going to say that this is also Florida. Yes. <laughs> I think this is our last one. This is the last one on today's episode. This is from WFOR CBS4 Key West. Okay. Local community college dean arrested after slashing tires of employees who threw surprise party on wrong date. Oh, that's funny. Uh... Hmm. College <laughs> dean? Local community college dean. Oh, a community college dean. Side note. Are there colleges in Florida? Yes. I haven't heard of any of them. Oh, University of Florida. Oh. Oh, I was thinking of Miami University, which is in Ohio. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say that Oh, this is too good to be true. I'm going to say this is fiction. (sighs) Yeah, you got it. (laughs) This is fiction. All right. Do you want to get right into the prices whack? Should we ad lib a little bit first? Maybe? Maybe. And talk about something? Okay. I wonder if there's any actual news going on. I'm going to Google news and see what comes up. Nope, it's all still about, Bernie. you know. Bernie Sanders. It's about, you know. Oh, you already know. Yeah, there's no news going on right now. There is a rumor that is going around that's really big right now that One Direction's going to get back together. How do you feel about One Direction? Big fan of One Direction. You're a big fan of One Direction? How would you feel about them coming back? I don't know. Oh, this is funny. Hold on, for the podcast, look at this meme. 
it says oh sorry it says family they can see home. it too derek the view i know but my phone uh my camera mirrors it ah uh. So it says, family stays in quarantine for a month. Divorce lawyers. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. I think that's enough ad-libbing. Let's get into the prices, Whack. So you know how you this know, is, Derek. Yeah. You have a $30 buffer of being wrong. Oh, over- hey, Micah, did you hear that you can uh, spend... Our school's currency on Grubhub? I had no idea. I wish they would email me once or seven times a week. <laughs> they email us once a day. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, anyway, the price is whack. The price is whack. For those of you who don't know what this is, listen to last week's episode, you bum. Yeah. Alright, the price is whack. Our first item... Is a 2002 Pontiac Trans Am Silver. Hold on. These are still on eBay. Yes. Okay. Say, again, it, say, say what this is again? This is a 2002 Pontiac Trans Am Silver. 2002 Pontiac Trans Am. Yes. Silver. So here's the thing about uh-huh. a Pontiac 2002 Trans Am Silver. Uh-huh. I don't know a shit of... I don't know shit about cars. Right. A shit or plenty of shits. Cool. Um, so I'm just going to take a wild guess mm-hmm. based off of how much I bought my 2005 Subaru Forester Silver for. Okay. So I'm going to say this is around a thousand bucks. You're going to lock that in? Yes. Terry Carnish, you can find a 2002 Pontiac Trans Am Silver on eBay for $7,700. That's a lot of money. It's Holy a nice shit. car. Is it? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Our next item is a WWF WWE The Undertaker Foam Urn Rare Wrestling Merchandise Stand Item Exclamation Point. It's a foam urn. It's a foam urn. But Rare Wrestling Merchandise Stand Item Exclamation Point. Yeah, but that means nothing on eBay. (laughs) But I will say, I don't have any recollection of WWE ever selling any foam urn or regular Undertaker's urn for that matter. Yes, but you weren't alive for the entirety of the Undertaker's run. Especially the time where he would have had an urn. That's true. Hey, he had an urn in SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. You're right. Well, Eddie Guerrero had an urn. I am going to say that this foam urn mm-hmm. will run you about 20 bucks. You want to lock that in? Why not? You can find the WWF WWE The Undertaker Foam Urn Rare Wrestling Merchandise Stand Item Exclamation Point for $152.50. Pardon? It's foam. But it's rare. That means nothing on eBay. (laughs) You're right. Derek Harnish, the next item is Stuck on You Blu-ray 2013. Stuck on You? Would you like a Wikipedia description? Yes. I don't... I've never heard of this movie. (laughs) Give me a second. One. So, stuck on you. In Martha's Vi- in uh Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. Oh, good. I thought they were talking about Conjoined the twins Ohio, Bob- Martha's Vineyard. Combined twins Bob and Walt Tenner try to live as normally as possible. It stars Matt Damon and Greg Kinnear. This is a DV, a Blu-ray DVD. This is a Blu-ray DVD, 2013 
stuck on you. New? So, here's the thing. I'm gonna... I'm going to guess just based on the value of a Blu-ray DVD. Okay. I which wouldn't could go necess- great or go terribly. I wouldn't necessarily do that. I understand. <laughs> but I don't know whether to go higher or lower. So I think if I guess around the price of a standard Blu-ray DVD, that I will not be overshooting or undershooting by a lot. Okay. And that's the hope. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to guess that this is twenty dollars. Hmm. The stuck on you Blu ray twenty thirteen you can find on eBay dot com for fifteen hundred dollars. What? Yeah. Why is it so much? I don't <laughs> know, because it's also not a good movie. Yeah, I was gonna say that doesn't sound like a good movie. It's literally like <clears throat> ugh. It's, it sounds like the best part of the movie is starring Matt Damon. Which, in a nutshell, yikes. Alright. Big yikes. Our next item on my list is Antique German 4x4 four 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 oh, Conservatory no. Stradivarius Figured Maple Violin and Signed Bow. Excellent original condition, no reserve. Wait, Signed Bow? Signed Bow. Where do you sign the bow of a violin? On the bow. That doesn't answer any <laughs> questions. Uh, wow. Uh, like an antique strat? An antique conservatory Stradivarius figured maple <clears throat> violin and signed bow. Excellent original condition, no reserve. Who is it signed by? A person. <laughs> I am going to guess that this is priced at higher than its value is. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to guess, judging by the 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 DVD being like a thousand bucks. Uh, fifteen hundred bucks. <laughs> I'm going to guess uh, an original Stradivarius violin. Mm-hmm. With signed bow is three thousand dollars. It's not original. It's just original condition. I'm still gonna say that it's three thousand dollars. Derek Harness, you can find antique German four four conservatory Stradivarius figured maple violin and signed bow. Excellent original condition, no reserve, for thirty six dollars. That's a shitty violin. Yeah. When you were like, I'm going to probably be overshooting, I was just like, I didn't think that you were going to be... I legitimately thought you were going to say like 20 bucks. Why? No idea. What violin costs under 150? You were asking someone who doesn't speak a violin. Anyways. Uh. Our ne- my next item is a... BCP 11.6 quart 8 inch 1 extra large air fryer oven rotisserie dehydrator set with 8 accessories. You said a lot of things there. I will repeat it. Please. A BCP, that's the brand, 11.6 quart 8 inch 1 extra large air fryer oven rotisserie dehydrator set with 8 accessories. Can you show me a picture? I'll try my best. So what's like your original guess? See, there's a lot there. But I kind of want to stick with $20 as like the base guess for something that's like, it's worth a little bit of money, but not a lot. Not a lot? You're saying that to throw me off. It's going to be worth less. Oh, I'm going to say that's worth 50 bucks. That's like all of its like accessories. I'm going to give it a sharp 70 bucks. 70 bucks? Final answer. Final answer? 
Derek Harnish. You can find the BCP 11.6 quart 8 inch 1 extra large air fryer oven rotisserie dehydrator set with 8 accessories for $110. I have $40 off. So I still don't get a point. Yeah. What the fuck? You have never gotten a point on this. Has anybody? No. <laughs> Alright, the next item is an RCA mobile DVD system with dual 7 inch screens. Oh, this is 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna lock it in. You can find the RCA mobile DVD system with dual 7-inch screens for $30. You finally got a point! I got a point! Hell yeah! Yeah, this is like a shitty item. Sounds shitty. Alright. And yet, it's still 30 bucks. I'm gonna... I mean, it's $30, but is it worth $30? See, my concept of the monetary value of items is greatly skewed by the fact that I am both a poor and in college. I'm trying to find the correct one. Because nice. you will ask for a picture. I will? Because the next item on my list is Beanie Baby Baby's Claw oh, the Crab Great on. Condition Rare. Can I see a picture? <laughs> yeah. So right off the bat, that thing, one, is ugly. <laughs> so here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Either you're absolutely duping me by giving me some low price beanie baby. <laughs> or this is somehow more expensive than the one you showed me yesterday that had like two different parts. Yeah, it was the, uh, it was Jake the Duck 1997 the Duck. wing 1998 tush. I'm going to guess that this beanie baby is worth $5,000. <laughs> Lock it in. Derek, you can find the Beanie Babies Claude the Crab Great Condition Rare for $940. That's, like, not a lot for a Beanie Baby, right? For, like, a rare Beanie Baby? I literally have no idea. I've never spent money on a Beanie Baby. A Magic Card is worth $100,000. Is it the one that I'm thinking? The, the Black Lotus? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't Black Petal also worth a lot of money? I've never heard of the Magic Card Black Petal, so no. It's an artifact, and it's worth zero mana, and you sacrifice it, and you get a thing. And you get a mana of any thing. That, that sounds like just another Mox. Alright, the next item on my list is Star Wars Laser Disc Laser Video Disc Disc Movie Star Collectors. <laughs> How many discs was in that title? Three. Again, it's the Star Wars Laser Disc Laser Video Disc Disc Movie Star Collector. This sounds bad. And the Star Wars VHS was a dollar fifty yesterday. So I, I'm a week ago. This, I'm gonna <laughs> say this is a good five dollars. Locking that in. Yes. Derek, you can find the Star Wars Laser Disc Laser Video Disc Disc Movie Star Collectors for eighteen hundred dollars. Of course you can. <laughs> oh, I do have two left. All right, the penultimate item on my list is a Rolex Submariner eighteen K yellow gold blue on steel blue steel automatic men watch. Interesting. Again, that is the Rolex Submariner 18K Yellow Gold Blue on Blue Steel Automatic Men Watch. So it's a, it's a Rolex watch, mm -hmm. allegedly. So it's alleged. It's if it's a real <laughs> if it's a real Rolex, it's worth a lot of money. Mm -hmm. If you, you have even get email, if you, if you, you get even link? like close, if you get close. I might give it to you. 
Do you have the eBay link no. readily available? No. Because it... the question I have is, how trustworthy is this seller? I can tell you that it looks like a really nice watch. Okay. I'm interested by your, if I you could guess, close to it. What signifies close? If I say that, it will give it away. But I will write it down on this piece of paper. So within the thousand dollars? Yes. Jesus. All right. I'm going to guess this is seven thousand dollars. Based on no logic. Locking that in. Derek, you can find the Rolex Submariner 18K yellow, blue, yellow, gold, blue on blue steel automatic men watch for $14,499. I was halfway there. If you said 14 or 15 grand, I was going to give it to you. Dang. Ah, uh, it looks like we have our last item. Derek, the Apple Newton Messenger Pad 100 original box documentation and more. What? An Apple Newton message, message Pad 100 original box documentation and more. That title gives me no clue on what this thing is. Like, it's like sticky a, notes? It's like a personal messenger, but like from like 1996. And a hundred of them? No. Not a hundred of them. I don't know what that hundred means, Derek. This sounds really shitty. It is the reason that Apple almost went under in the mid-90s. Oh. Hmm. I'm going to guess that this is based on that. Well, what condition is it in? Original box documentation and more. Wow. I'm going to guess that this is... How much was the, uh, the 2013 DVD? $1,500. <laughs> I'm going to guess it's that much. You're going to lock that in. Yes. Derek Carnage, you can find the Apple Newton Message Pad 100 original box documentation and more for $325. Damn. You got one out of 10, though, and for a combined total of one out of 20, that's 5%, and every possible way that's an f nice high five social distancing so wow so you know costar the astrology app right no well costar you put in like your you do all your star signs and stuff and then it sends you messages once a day Costar told me to be a nobody today. So, what were you saying, Micah? Well, I'm not saying anything. Oh. <clears throat> nice. Do you think we should call Andrew today? Maybe. Oh, no, he's busy right now. He told me that he would be busy between 1 and 2. Damn. Yeah. You're Too just... bad. Do, all right, this r slash shower thoughts. Too bad marijuana isn't available for a half price on April 21st. Like Easter candy oh, the day after Oh, we were going to talk about my Twitter bio. Oh, yeah. What were you saying about your Twitter bio? <laughs> Oh, dude, Randy Orton just tweeted hashtag FTRKO. Yeah, because they were buds. Yeah. So, one time I was I was just talking to Derek, you know, as you do. And we were on unpopular opinions. Micah, this was on the podcast. What? This was on the episode of the podcast we recorded, like, last Sunday. No. Really? Yeah. The thing about what? About wet, about wet jeans. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Oh no, Micah. The XFL is done. Forever? Yeah. Wait, what? 
I think. I don't know. Seems like the XFL is shut down. Informs all employees that they've been laid off. Yeah, but that's just because of the thing. What thing? Oh, the league currently has no plans to return in 2021. Ah. Gazoon type. Just edit that out. Micah, you can't say that. Sorry, guys. We had to edit something out of the podcast. No, I'm kidding. You suck. (laughs) Would it be a good idea to uh, end the podcast early? Would it? How long have we been podcasting? Not long. Like 40 minutes? I don't know if we should end it that early. You didn't, were... you say, didn't you say you had another game to play? Oh, yeah. It's called Sandwich or Salad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stupid. How you play Sandwich or Salad, those of you who are asking, is I'm going to say a food. And we are going to discuss if that falls under the category of salad or sandwich. Or other. No, not or other. No, fuck other. Remember, everything in the world can be classified as either a potato or not a potato. Yes, but every food can be described in either a salad or a sandwich. (laughs) Alright. I'm getting up the definitions of them. So we can... So, Gary, the first salad or sandwich... I think it's pretty easy. Cereal. Cereal's a... Hmm. Cereal's a salad. A salad is a cold dish of various mixtures of raw or cooked vegetables, usually seasoned with oil, vinegar, or other dressings, and sometimes accompanied by meat, fish, or other ingredients. I still think the cereal falls under the salad category. Mm. Unless you want to classify cereal as a ton of milk sandwiches. I think it... Def- yeah, I... I, I, I another definition is a mixture containing a, specif- a specified ingredient served with a dressing. So, so that is the cereal with milk dressing. Yeah. Nice. Um, ice cream. Salad or sandwich? Yeah. I think that... Oh. Mm. So here's the thing. Because there's ice cream sandwiches. Yes, but that's a different food. Yes. I think ice cream also falls under the salad mm-hmm. world. Because again... It is whatever other ingredients are in the ice cream with a cream dressing. Right. Side note, do you think ranch ice cream would be good? Yes, I think ranch anything would be good. Nice. I think ranch, uh, not that I would ever have these, but like ranch, uh, oh, it was like the vaping thing. Jewels? Yeah, ranch jewels would be fire. That's, Micah, write that down. That's the name of this episode of the podcast. (laughs) Ranch jewels would be fire. Uh. Hmm. Soup. Soup? Like French onion soup. I feel like in soup a bread would be bowl. the third option in this. No. Everything is either a salad or a sandwich. So the reason but so I far say, you've given me three salads. No, but I'm saying French onion soup because it's in a bread bowl and sandwiches have bread. French onion soup doesn't need to be in a bread bowl. But I'm Nor does any soup. That's a whole different food is a bread bowl. 
So I'm going to say soup is a salad also. Okay. Ravioli. That's a sandwich. That is a sandwich. That's a good old sandwich. <laughs> These are easy ones, Micah. Chicken. <laughs> Just chicken? Yeah. Is it a salad or a sandwich? I would say sandwich. I would say... Because the bones are acting... <laughs> Chicken is not a bone sandwich. But I will argue that a, a whole chicken is uh, a sandwich. No, it's a the salad. Buns are the thighs. No, it's a salad because it's, it's the body and the dressing is the feathers. No. No, I mean like a whole like uncooked, ready to put in the oven chicken. Oh, like your uncooked rotisserie chicken. Yes, I'd argue it's a sandwich because the buns are the thighs, and the the meat of the sandwich is the rest of the chicken. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> a blueberry. A blueberry. <laughs> huh. I think a blueberry is a salad. I think it's a sandwich. You do? Yeah, because you know like that little rind upon, upon the top of a blueberry? Like that little bit of thing? I think that, that could be like the middle. No. Then you'd have to say that a peach is a sandwich. I, I think a peach would be a sandwich. But... That's, it, that's just going a little over. Because I think any pitted fruit is a sandwich. That's I don't agree with that at all. You, you can be wrong, Derek. It's cool. I don't want to be. Ranch dressing. Ranch. <coughs> ranch dressing. See, this is why I wish soup was an option. Because ranch dressing is a soup. Yes, but. Too bad that soup isn't an option in this game that I invented. Then it's a salad. I would say it's more of a sandwich. Why? Because the bottle is sandwiching. You don't eat the bottle. I'm sorry, you don't eat an uncooked chicken. <laughs> yeah, but at least that's still part of the food. The bottle is, in no process of ranch dressing, part of the food. I guess we're going to have to do, agree to disagree. I disagree. Hmm. Looks like we're going to have to agree on something. A chocolate bar. I'm going to say it's a sandwich because of the tinfoil wrapping around the chocolate bar. Shut the fuck up, Derek. <laughs> Maybe you're just doing I, I still say it's a sandwich. Okay. Because what's in the chocolate bar? I mean, a Reese's peanut butter cup is a sandwich. Oh, yeah, absolutely. A Reese's peanut butter cup is a ravioli, and that's a hot take. <laughs> you know what else is a ravioli? A Pop-Tart. Boom. Clap. What's next on salad or sandwich? Um, Micah, have you ever wanted to talk to the one out of ten dentists? Oh, noodles. Noodles. Just the noodles themselves, or oh. the box around the noodles as well? The noodles themselves. I'm going to say noodles are a salad. I'd say noodles is a sandwich. I, uh, why? Because I think rice would also constitute as a sandwich. I don't think so. I think it's salad. I think it's the body of the salad, and whatever you pair the noodles with is the dressing. No, I think the noodles <laughs> sandwiches the thing... That you're putting it over. What? 
Sandwich is a verb, too, you idiot. I know, but I disagree with what you're saying, like, wholeheartedly. That's cool. Micah, here's the thing. Uh Uh-huh. I'm going to actually really argue this noodles are a salad argument. (laughs) Because, you can make a salad before you put the dressing on it. That's what noodles are. They're the salad before the dressing. Okay. Do you think Big Dick is awake and would want to be on the podcast? They are awake. I don't think they'd want to be on the podcast right now. Damn. I think they're cleaning something. Watch Mojo says, what does the cheaper by the dozen cast look like now? (laughs) I'm sorry, I don't know why I find that so funny, but I love cheaper by the dozen so much. Because Watch Mojo is just so, ugh. Can we put Watch Mojo on the fuck list? Yeah, fuck fuck Watch Mojo. Fuck Watch Mojo. Fuck Miss Mojo, too. Yes. Although Miss Mojo makes uh, Big Brother content, so I don't mind them as much. Alright. This will be the last one of Sandwich or Salad. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. A burrito bowl. A br- oh, my God. <laughs> I want to end on one that we agree on. I think this is a salad. Yes. Because if it was just a burrito, it would be a sandwich. Yes. But it's in a bowl, which means there's no thing sandwiching it. A burrito bowl is just a taco salad with beans. Mm-hmm. All right, Derek. I think that's all we have time for today. Crazy. We didn't call anybody again. I know. We should well, have... not again. Yeah. Well, until next time, Devoiders. Thanks, Anchor. Are we really calling them Devoiders? You can get Derek's current cumulative GPA if you subscribe to https colon forward slash forward slash www.patreon.com forward slash specifically devoid forward slash. I mean, that's the least intrusive thing you've offered for a thousand dollars. You can also get Derek's uh, green hat. I don't think I own one of those. You can own Derek's NASA pink hat. Hey, 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 hey. No. You can own Derek's copy of WWE 12 for the Nintendo Wii. I don't know where that is. I all think he in- gave that away. All inclusive if you go to our Patreon. For all inclusive, this pretty much lacks anything of yours. Again, go to https <laughs> colon forward slash forward slash www.patreon.com forward slash specifically devoid forward slash. We're now on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Pod Bay. We're going to be on YouTube. I hope you're watching this on YouTube if you're a video listener. If you're an audio listener, thanks for sticking around, but what are you doing? Yeah. No, I like audio listeners more because they don't have to see me just, like, in the corner. Eat a sandwich for an example. Or, or a salad. So, I'm going to read out the fuck list, and then we're going to go. So remember, fuck New Hampshire, fuck J. Paul, fuck Ben and Jerry's, fuck Watch Mojo. Did we say fuck Macaulay Culkin? No. No. Okay. I think we might have in the episode we're never going to release because it was just that bad. Oh, yeah. The last episode that poor people can't listen to. Yeah. But if you subscribe to the $1,000 Patreon, we'll give it to you. Yeah. Just as a thanks. Okay. Bye, Devoiders. Bye.
And, Bye, podcast listeners. And cut. Nice.